Download the official Webcard app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store now. Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Webcard.my and I'm all about the details. The last full-fledged R3 model to grace Malaysian roads to come out from the Proton's factory was in 2011, the Proton Satra Neo R3 edition. That had a host of upgrades, suspension, brakes, even the powertrain had more power. But since then, R3 has kind of mellowed down into making body kits for the Suprema S, Inspira, Preve, and now the Saga and Iris. Let's start with the Saga R3 edition. So don't let the R3 name fool you because everything about it are just aesthetic cosmetic upgrades. The, there are no performance upgrades available on either the Saga or the Iris. So let's start with the exterior look. It's exactly the same as what you've seen in the Anniversary Edition in terms of the body kit, the styling, the, the decals theme of it with the yellow and black accents. So you get the yellow accents on the front grille, the lower splitter, the side mirror caps, but what's different here on the R3 Limited Edition that separates from the Anniversary Edition are these Race Rally Research front windscreen decals as well as the same decals on the rear windscreen. Over to the side here, the wheels are the same but there's a side decal that says the number 82. It's a nod towards the uh, race winning Saga which participated in the Sepang S1K race. And over to the rear, you can find the limited edition plug as well as the R3 plug on either side of the rear boot deck as well as the R3 Champion Team sticker over to the rear windows. As for the Iris R3 edition, at the front you can see it gets the same theme as the Saga with the yellow accents on the front grille as well as the lower front splitter. There's also a subtle front little lip, give it a more aggressive look. And over to the side, this is uh, perhaps my favorite part of the car, which are the upgraded 16-inch alloys. These alloys, if you think it looks very familiar, it's because it was previously available on the Satra Neo CPS, and which has taken that wheel and put it onto the Iris R3 edition. However, one thing I'm a little bit bothered is that they did not bother to upgrade the tires. So it still rides on the Goodyear Excellence, but 185-55 R16 profile rubbers. I mean. It looks a little bit under-tired, but the wheels do fill up the wheel arches a little bit better than a standard iris. Moving on, you get yellow side mirror caps as well as side decals. The number 83 pays homage to the race-winning iris. Here you can see the R3 Champion Team sticker, and over here, the black roof spoiler, the R3 emblems, as well as the lower yellow highlights. Uh, what I quite like about this rear spoiler is there's a nice little yellow accent as well as the R3 logo on either sides. Now stepping inside, immediately you notice the full leather seats available on both the Iris and Saga with the R3 Limited Edition embroidery as well as the yellow stitching. The uh, yellow accents is also continued to the interior on the steering wheel, the stitching, the air vents, as well as the center climate control knobs. Um, I don't know, it feels a little bit tacky to me. What's not, not tacky, and I think it's a very nice touch, are the R3 Limited Edition emblem available on the dashboard, as well as the R3 Limited Edition carpet mats. No changes under the hood, the Iris remains powered by a 1.6 litre naturally aspirated 4 cylinder petrol engine, pushing out 109 horsepower and 150 Nm of torque paired to a CVT automatic. The Saga remains powered by a 1.3 litre naturally aspirated VVT petrol engine, and 4-speed automatic to push 95 horsepower and 120 Nm of torque. The Proton Saga R3 Limited Edition is priced at 42,300 ringgit, while the Iris R3 Limited Edition is priced at 52,900 ringgit on the road without insurance. So there you have it, the R3 Limited Edition Iris and Saga. To be honest, I love the wheels on the Iris, I like the body kit, but I am a little bit bummed that there are no significant performance upgrades to the suspension, brakes, uh, chassis, not even the engine output is changed. So I'm a little bit bummed on that. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of these R3 Limited Edition models? As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news, and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.